Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, whatever time of the day it may be. Welcome to another day of HEDM's devotion. My name is Sister Chantel, and let's jump right into our topic for today. It is iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. The scripture is going to be Proverbs 27, verse 17. King James Version. Iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the contents of his friend. The message version, the title in the message version reads, Your face mirrors your heart. And the reading for that, Proverbs 27, 17, and the message version reads, You use steel to sharpen steel, and one friend sharpens another. Let's jump into some meanings. Sharpen means to make something stronger. Contents, it says a person's face or facial expression. Okay, so doing my online research, I found these two things that I found was very interesting. One person can be used by God to help another person. The incentive here was being mutually or mutually beneficial. Okay, and then it says iron sharpen iron is almost universal, seen as a positive. So iron sharpens iron is almost used universally, seen as a positive. Wise people should become encouraging. They should be able to coach. They should be able to challenge. They should be able to question each other when iron sharpens iron. The topic again is iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. As I broke down and meditated on the topic, reading, and the lesson, I came to an understanding that as a disciple, or what I call myself, a child of the king, I should make sure that I'm able to sharpen another, which will in turn encourage, question, coach, challenge, another disciple or child of the king. Now, this led me to open up to another question. It made me think some more. What if I am dull? How can I sharpen something else? Hmm. So I say, if, I, if you're not aware of this, in this case, sometimes the sharpening would be for you and the person. Okay, understand that, that if you're dull, right? Because in order to sharpen something, you would need to be strong, because that was the meaning, and um, be able to stand firm. And how can you sharpen something if you're dull? And if you're aware of you being dull, then here are some things that I think will help along the way. Align yourself in the right path. Get back to the basics. Open your Bible on a daily. Do a little reading. Surround yourself with like-minded people. I believe if we do these things, it will help in our sharpening. Remember, one person can be used to help another person, which will be mutual mutually beneficial to all okay so the reminder today is always be ready to be a tool to use as a sharpener as you consider yourself a child of the king a disciple a christian a god follower a jesus follower a follower of the way a follower of the light Whatever title, description you want to give yourself or you want to put underneath the anointing of the Lord, understand that in those times, you will be used to not only encourage someone else, but to help build someone else up. 
I don't believe that in all the times when we build people up, we're always built up at the same time. No, there's times where I'm down, but I'm going to make sure that I build somebody else up. Or sometimes I don't know that I'm even building somebody else up in my deep, dark moments. I'm able to build someone else up. So the reminder this morning or this afternoon or this evening is to always be ready. Always be ready so you don't have to get ready. Think we could do that? I think we can do that. Have a wonderful day. Hit the subscribe, the like, H-E-D-M. Let's get it.